tear through any target with these vicious claw-like blades, the signature swords of Korra, this dual-wielding, dare I say, beast. Isn't that much to buy with Platinum, has really nice crit chance, fairly decent status, and if you go the build route, two Argon Crystals, 230 Oxium, and the three Tellurium are the only thing that could be a possible pain to get a hold of. But being a Mastery Rank 7, these things are actually way more impressive than I thought. That 1.25 attack speed really, really is a noticeable thing. Sadly, it kind of comes with no polarities, so formering this is kind of a must, which is exactly what you will find yourself doing. I put two Vs on mine, and I went for a all-round crit status build, throwing on body count, blood rush, true steel, organ shatter, berserker, point, primed, pressure point, and then the elemental combo using the dual status mods. Not the best of builds, I am playing with a condition overload which adds that whole 60% extra melee damage depending on the elements you have on this because with the dual stat mods it went to 30.8% status. But the reason I have True Steel in here with Blood Rush because True Steel takes it to 44.8% crit chance and then obviously Blood Rush can work on top of that for orange and red crits pretty much all the time. Organ Shatter did take it to a 4.9% damage multiplier for the crit. And in all honesty, these things at first glance, when you first put them on, you put a few mods in it, they're actually, they're not that impressive. And then after the first format, like everything else, they'll get a little bit better. The second, they'll get way better. Would probably recommend another V on these so you can fit something like Condition Overload where I have Berserker in this because that will obviously add the extra damage. The only reason I have Berserker is because with that kind of crit chance the attack speed will obviously be taken up from 1.25 because Berserker will what is it, plus 30% attack speed for 24 seconds on crit hit. On crit weapons it's great so increasing the attack speed is even better. I did sacrifice a bit of damage to leave that in there, but it's one of those, I want to say this is probably the best of everything that came in 22.18, but I really like that secondary. The secondary added everything that was good about the Viper and the Balto and added in some acrid style elements to it, which were probably three of the the best weapons in the early day of Warframe, so having something that was a combination of the three was a lot of fun to use. But these things? Ah, I think choosing between which one of the two was actually better, these would have to win, simply because when it comes to Onslaught, you're gonna find yourself using melee more than you are a secondary, so not, not only does it make a nice rounded crit come status build with the 28% crit chance and the 14% status chance with the dual status mods that will go up to 30%. With organ shatter the crit multiplier goes from 2.6 to 4.9 as well so you've got that extra damage on top. It just generally makes it a really good all-round melee weapon that is quick on attack speeds but I would love to say it suffers a bit of range issues, but it depends on the enemy you're going up against. For crowd control against infested, obviously they come to you. But against an enemy that's trying to run away, all factions kind of suffer the same thing. If the enemies are trying to run away, the range on the melee weapon is meaningless because you have to try and catch them. I did try the maiming strike on this, and yes, it obviously works, but fitting it. Yeah, I just personally just preferred the Berserker, but I'm playing with Condition Overload, but it's sacrificing a little bit more attack speed and damage to fit that in there. And with just two Vs on this, it will actually fit as well. I don't need to form it for that, but I'll probably throw another V on this, so you've got three, and then whatever you build this for will obviously depend upon yourself and how you use it, but this is definitely one of those secondaries that's worth getting because it is going to be 
a really good all-round weapon, really useful, and generally a lot of fun to actually use. Anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.